My God, where to start? Jack Black and Lizzo have both been featured in a new episode of The Mandalorian, being the worst rated episode of the entire series. And Jon Favreau was the one that wrote this episode, and for some odd reason, he wanted Jack Black and Lizzo to be in it. You see, the problem is, is that Jack Black and Lizzo are both extremely popular and overshadow these characters, and the roles that they were playing just didn't fit them in the slightest. I was cringing at their accents that they were doing. It just wasn't good. Good. Lizzo, a singer who tends to be half naked most of the time while performing, who in their right mind thought that a singer could act. What the hell? This is just a state that we are in when it comes to Star Wars, and it is very unfortunate, as we're starting to see cracks that both Filoni and Favreau are starting to slip up, at least when it comes to this new season of The Mandalorian that fans have been waiting for for over two years, and we get this crap, which I thought would have never happened to be frank, but yet, here we are. Lucasfilm keeps taking the cake. Literally, moving away from the two main characters that we should be focusing on, that being Din Djarin and Grogu, and focusing on all these other side characters that no one gives a damn about. And having Bo-Katan seeming to replace Din as the main character. She should have just gotten her own damn show. But no, these writers are on some sort of Star Wars crack. And here's a short clip of a segment in the show of Grogu being knighted. I grant knighthood. You are now a knight of the ancient order of independent regencies. Go in peace, brave travelers, until our paths meet again. I oh my god. <laughs> my god, the dialogue just sounds something straight out of a video game that an NPC would give out once a mission is completed. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Star Wars has become, and Grogu, throughout the episode, did pretty much nothing, and he gets knighted. Only thing Grogu decided to do was help Lizzo cheat in a game. <laughs> Only reason why he's being shown is that they need to milk those toy sales. That's why they're doing all this when it comes to Grogu. <laughs> But wait, there is more, as here's another clip that just continues to prove that this isn't Din Djarin's show anymore, but it is Bo-Katan's. You will always be welcome in our domed paradise. Milady. My lord. You just gotta love to see it, having Bo-Katan getting the main reward in a show that isn't about her. And the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes aren't terrible, but it is a giant downgrade to what we have seen in the show's previous two seasons. And just look, season 3 is at a 62% audience score, season 2 was at a 91% audience score, and season 1 is at a 92% audience score. The slow continued downgrade of this show, and I like many were expecting this show to be the savior of Star Wars, but sadly it isn't. And the only thing that I'm surprised is that Lizzo was able to wear a substantial amount of clothing without showing too much skin. That is an accomplishment that they should be proud of. And Christopher Lloyd was also in this episode. And man, it was a bummer seeing him in the worst episode of The Mandalorian that many of us have seen. But it was cool seeing him. I'm not going to lie about that. And people are also now starting to speculate and wonder if Din Djarin is even the main character anymore as Bo-Katan is slowly replacing him. If you want to have Bo-Katan as a main character, make her own damn show. She's a popular character that I think many know and would be interested in seeing. But they haven't decided to go down that route and we are already 6 episodes into the show of 8 episodes with absolutely nothing going on. There isn't that excitement there once was. Ratings are down, viewership watch time is down, everything is down. And Disney continues to ruin Star Wars, to which I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they do end up deciding to sell it. And with all that in mind, I your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.